Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the alpha lock in Krita. And the alpha lock is on every layer right here, and it's the checker pattern box right here. If you click that, it means the alpha channel is locked. And what that means is anything you've drawn that's opaque on the layer, uh, it locks that channel, which means you can draw over anything that's opaque. Uh, let me just demonstrate what that means. So I'm going to unlock the layer, and I'm just going to take a black brush, an opaque brush, and I'm just going to draw a random shape. So if I go ahead and lock the layer, I'm going to take a different color, let's say a blue, and if I draw over the black, as you can see, um, the shape was preserved because anything that's uh, empty, I can't draw. So if I go ahead and take my brush um, and paint over here, nothing's happening. So uh, let me show you why that's useful, because um, it includes any level of opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the layer. I'm going to take an airbrush, black airbrush, and I'm going to show you different levels of opacity. So I took my airbrush and made that one kind of opaque. Let's make this one kind of transparent, kind of light here. And I'm going to do the same thing with a blue brush. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the layer again. I'm going to take an opaque blue brush right there. And I'm just going to draw over the circles. So as you can see, um, it's not. this is not a light blue. I picked the same uh, blue pretty much. And this is, op this is opaque. And these are uh, semi-opaque or semi-transparent. Um, so that's pretty useful. And there's a there's a couple. Um, let me just undo all of this because let me show you why this is useful, especially for illustration. Um, one thing you can do, for example, is color line art. So if I take an opaque brush um, and I just like draw a person here, and I use a black line. If I take if I alpha lock the layer again, so let me click this lock and I pick like a purple, let's say I want to take like a reddish, purplish uh, change, I want to change the line art to that color. I can do that and I can pretty much just change the color of the line art like that. So that's pretty good. And another thing you can do is do it, use it for shading. So if I unlock the layer and I take one of my favorite brushes here and let's say I draw like a cylinder or something. Let's draw a cylinder. Let's just fill that in. Now that's that's a cylinder shape right there. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and alpha lock the layer again. Let me click this. And I'm going to take uh, a little bit of a lighter gray and let's let's shade the cylinder. So let's make a sort of a mid-tone and maybe a a highlight here. Something like that and then let's grab something darker and add some reflected light on that side. Something like that. I don't know, super basic. Um, it's helpful because I was drawing all over the thing, and uh, it since the channel was alpha locked, um, I you know stayed inside the lines per se. So uh, what else can you do? I'm I'm gonna oh I already demonstrated the airbrush. Oh so the last thing I want to show you is that you can actually set a shortcut for the alpha lock, which makes it a lot easier than just bringing your mouse over here and clicking every time, or your tablet or whatever. So you can actually edit the preferences. Let's see where are they? Settings. Configure Krita. There it is. So the keyboard shortcuts, you can find it right here. If I search alpha lock, alpha, toggle layer alpha. There we go. So it's right here, toggle layer alpha. So that's the alpha lock right there. So I have my shortcut set to Z. And I think that's a pretty good one because it's right next to undo, which I use a lot. Undo is control Z. So I just use Z for alpha lock. So as you can see, if I put my mouse over here just to show you, that the lock is turning on and off as I touch Z. So it's really easy to switch back and forth. If I take a black brush, I'm just going to unlock it and then take another color, lock it again with a Z button, and then do that. So uh, that's that should be fun to experiment with as you illustrate. Hopefully that's useful to you guys, and I hope that you, sh you enjoyed that short tutorial. Let me know if it was useful, and let me know if there's anything else you want to learn in the comments. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.